Hi there guys, my name's John from ActiveJR.com and in this video I'm going to talk about three things that I like about the Garmin Phoenix 5 series. So before we get started, I'd just like to remind you there's links to um, uh, retailers below which have got up to date pricing on the Garmin Phoenix 5X, 5S and 5. So if you want to check those out, it would be really appreciated. And also if you want to subscribe to my channel, please give it a, a subscribe. And also if you like this video for our and please give it a thumbs up. And finally, also check out my other social platforms, ActiveJR Official on Instagram and Facebook, and my website at activejr.com. So thanks very much, let's get straight into the video. First thing I like about uh, Phoenix 5 series is the number of sizes and designs that are available. They launched the 5S, the 5 and the 5X, all in different sizes. So the 5S is aimed at someone with a smaller wrist, and maybe uh, someone like a woman that wants a discreet fitness watch but also wants to be serious about their fitness. The five is again someone with a smaller wrist profile but someone that maybe also wants a discreet watch uh, and not something as big as the 5X. And the 5X, uh, it's a really chunky watch. I uh, wear this watch on a daily basis and I like it. I, I think it's a great design, it's great build quality and it's also got a great screen. So uh, that's, uh, that's the first thing I like about the Phoenix 5 series. Next up for me, and this is my personal opinion, it's the new cycling features that come with the Phoenix 5 series. So if you already own the Viera series, which is the Viera Lite and the Viera Radar, uh, you can attach them. And uh, I personally use them, and I think they're really good for uh, road safety. But you also can attach a number of different uh, uh, power meters, uh, cycling sensors and I think uh, they've really stepped up the mark to uh, say uh, the Phoenix 5 is really a uh, cyclist watch as well and I've actually started using this instead of using my Edge 1000 um, so um, I, I think it's, uh, it's pretty good for that. I've also as well uh, got the Phoenix 5X that I've mentioned and I use the navigation features and other than my complaints with the map detail themselves I found it's really good for navigating especially when I'm on the bike so uh, that's my second thing that I like about the Phoenix 5 series. The third and final one is it's got no touch screen. Now, a number of people are probably thinking, uh, why is that a great thing? Well, in my opinion it is, because if you really are working out and you've got clammy hands or you've been for a swim and you've got wet hands, a touch screen I found on a lot of devices or all the devices that I've used doesn't work particularly well. And that's due to the uh, contact it needs uh, between the skin and the, uh, and the screen. So if you are trying to swipe or you're trying to stop an activity, then it doesn't work. So I found uh, using the Phoenix 5 and also with the Phoenix 3 HR, uh, just using the buttons, um, it's, it's really good. You get an instant stop or an instant start and you're able to flick through the screens really easy. Um, so uh, no touch screen for the Phoenix 5 uh, is a, a great addition for me and hopefully uh, Garmin won't change that in the future. So that's it guys, so that's my top three things I like about the Garmin Phoenix 5 series. If you've got one I've not mentioned, please mention it in the comments below. Also give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much and I'll speak to you all soon.